anybody out of the streets. You know why? You know why? You can't serve on a fucking jury and be a jury of somebody's peer. You've lost that right. So why don't y'all that are doing this thinking that you're some hot shit, why don't you sit down and let the people that actually have the ability, let them do it. What's happening with it? White Boy Radio back with another one real fast. This video, it's not about Queen Bee. Uh, it's not even so much about um, the person who said it, which would be voices voices for the voiceless. It's not even about that lady. Um, it's just something that I hear on uh, YouTube a lot, a lot of misinformation with felons. This is complete shenanigans. This lady evidently does not know what she's talking about. Here's how we got here. I was watching a stream that Laura did, and she played this. And I heard this and I was like, that is, that is a hundred percent misinformation. Now on this stream, as Laura's playing it, this is supposed to be an ex uh, guest of uh, Queen Bee. Again, video's not on Queen Bee. I actually had an argument with this lady one time. She tried to say I had uh, I would pur- I purchased a fake Vax card. If anybody, if anybody knows me, it'd be the last thing that I would do. I would want to quit a job if they would force me to do that. But uh, neither here nor there. Again, it's not against anybody. It, it's the principle and what the message is. Okay. Yes, you can absolutely sit on a jury if you're a felon. Even if you're a 10 pound felon, you can. It takes no effort whatsoever to go and get your voting rights back. It's very easy. Every state has an office of clemency. It takes about literally 10 seconds. You fill out a checkbox form online. I mean, at least for Florida, that's how it goes. I don't know how it is on any other state, but it's very easy to get your voting rights back. You know, it, that doesn't mean that you can just vote again. That means that you get jury trial notices in the mail, just like everybody else. And just like everybody else, we don't want to go to them. We make excuses up, but we do want to vote. I think what, there's a lot of misconception, and I see a lot in true crime in these chats. So I just want to clear a couple things up as far as rights getting lost and this and that. Okay, and as far as true con- true crime goes, you may hear that a felon doesn't have uh, what's the legal word? Um, there's a, there's a there's a way to phrase it where oh credibility. A felon's credibility is not that good on the stand. Meaning, uh, if I had to testify against somebody uh, and I'm recently released from prison or out of jail for something, and I'm a convicted felon, maybe my credibility is not. A lawyer could use that as a way to uh, discredit me and not have testimony or whatever have you, okay? Or the state, whatever, whichever way you want to, whichever way I I would fit in this legal knot, okay? But at the same time, if I if I went to prison years ago and I'm leaving uh, and I'm living a good clean life and I'm I'm making an honest job, I'm making honest money, then um, they look silly if they say you know the defendant or the state, whatever. This guy went to prison years ago, and his credibility is no good. No, they would look silly because I've been out for a long time. You see what I'm saying? So the credibility issue is an issue, but you can absolutely get your rights back. I've done a video on this a long time ago on the channel. Office of Clemency. It's very easy. Office of Clemency is where you apply to get your rights back. And just for the record, more clarification on this, once you apply for it one time, you get it back forever. So if someone was a felon, they got arrested and, and, and they committed a felony. Okay, they have lost their voting rights and a few other rights, gun rights. You can't have a liquor license, this and that, like in a club. If you you, you, can, you can't own a club that, that has a liquor license. This is how it is in Florida, at least. But if you go through the Office of Clemency, you can apply for your rights back. And that means even if you get another felony a year down the line, three weeks down the line after your application has been submitted, guess what? You still have your voting rights back. They can't retake your voting rights. That's just how it is. How do I know that? It happened with me. It happened with me. Okay. I lost my rights. I applied for them back. I could absolutely any day check that mailbox and be summoned for a jury. I, I've done it before. I've done it before. I, as soon as I, I applied for them, Matter of fact, it was when I moved to this part of Florida, they summoned me. I made, okay, I made an excuse. I did a video about that too. 
showed it and everything. Okay, this is complete misinformation. This is just uh, this is just another dig because somebody has uh, a criminal record. In this case, I don't know if Queen B is a felon or whatever. I'm assuming this lady's taking a shot at her, this and that. But it's silly that she says this because it's not even factual. It's complete misinformation. Again, not a shot at anybody here. But I see it a lot in chats. I see it a lot when it involves certain people, certain parents. I just see it a, a lot in the community. And you should really know what you're saying before you say it, especially if you're a creator. But it's not just for creators. I see a lot of subscribers write a lot of gibberish. You got to know what you're talking about. You got to know what you're talking about. The only thing that you can be, okay, as long as, is after you go through that clemency process, you cannot be credible as a witness, okay? But at the same time, most felons are probably not going to be in that spot anyhow, okay? They're, they're probably just not going to go to court, right? Unless they're living a good life and maybe down the line they've matured and said, you know what? I'm going to go, I'm going to stand and do the right thing and say, and say the right thing. But as far as no jury and this and that, and this is your uh, arsenal attack of, how this person's not credible on YouTube, you sound silly saying it. Because absolutely, as long as they applied to the clemency office, which is totally, totally private, confidential, you can't dox that. Um, as long as they've done it, you absolutely can. That's all I got. Quick clarification. The misinformation has to stop. Whiteboard Radio, inmate facts, until the next one.